Hey guys, so one of my favorite features about Android APS is being able to control the system from a smartwatch. And it's something that I've never really touched base on and something that I actually struggled getting working for a while. So if you're trying to get it set up yourself and are running into a few pitfalls, uh, I've been through that and I'm here to help you out. Or if you're just wondering what the system can do from a smartwatch or you're wondering what it's like day to day, this video is for you. So the reason I is one of my favorite features is because A, like it's just cool that you can do that. And B, there are certain situations where it's just more appropriate to just do a few taps on your watch rather than opening the phone out and you know putting in carbs and all that. Uh, the example I think of is like a company lunch where you're having lunch with your boss or something and you don't wanna you know pull out your phone and put in a whole bunch of, it looks like you're texting or something, right? So if you just do a few taps on your watch, so I feel like that's a lot more appropriate in that situation. And then C, uh, it's also a lot less distracting. I mean, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's holding my phone out to give myself two units of insulin and then spend 15 minutes scrolling through emails in my Google newsfeed, right? So here's what the app looks like, and I apologize, there's no real way to do a screen record on the Android Wear, so hopefully you can see that okay. Uh, but first of all, my, one of my favorite things is actually this little uh, complication on the watch face, and that's my blood sugar. I used to have the wearable widget complication right there, but it, it just it didn't update as frequently as I like. Uh, this one I know I can always trust. I always got wearable widgets to the right too, and as, as you can see, it actually updated here before it updated the wearable widget. So. That's cool. I, I feel really good about this number all the time. I know it's up to date. Um, but anyways, you can always just, uh, what, what I did is the double click, I I uh, paired that with Android APS and you got the calculator, you can set a temp target. Um, I'll give myself just like one little, like a 0.1% so you can use the virtual crown to, which is pretty cool. And then boom. Treatment requested, and, and sometimes this will happen. I guess this is number tip number one is sometimes that'll happen where it's like um, it'll act like it's trying to do something, but then nothing actually happens. So what you do if that happens? Uh, just clear it out of the recents, and we'll go back here. Okay, and then it'll always like give you like a confirmation notification. So. So that's what it's like, and, and by the way, I'm on a Galaxy Watch 4, but it should be relatively the same on, on pretty much any Android Wear smartwatch. Uh, you can pick them up pretty cheap, especially if you get like an older used one, like 50 to 100 bucks for a half decent one from a few years ago. Or honestly, you can even get like a Galaxy Watch 4 for like 150-ish. So definitely, I think it's worth it. I mean, uh, great watch, but also for the diabetes control. Uh, lots of cool stuff, lots of finish tracking features. Um, but anyway, so here's how you actually get the the app on the watch. So in Android Studio right here, where um, ran, went through the whole setup process in building the APK, right? So you go and you find where that extracted folder is and uh, you see that there's a separate, and it's and here's what it's called. Um, if you know how to do ADB commands, you can just send it right to the watch from there. Uh, I found it's easier just to upload this file to Google Drive. So once the file is uploaded to Google Drive, you're gonna go ahead and just download it on your phone. And then once it's downloaded on your phone, you're gonna download an app called Wear Installer. Uh, and then once you have that set up on your phone and your watch, uh, all you, you just follow the instructions and then you send that file to your watch using Wear Installer and you'll have it and it's there and it's that easy. So I ran into three big problems trying to get this working. And so I'm gonna share just some tips and tricks if you're running into the same thing. Um, number one is if like the app just is only pulling up settings, right? This is my first issue. Uh, and that was caused because the versions just weren't the same. I had an older version of Android APS just staying on my phone. But then I tried to build the new app for the, for the watch uh, because I had lost the old one and I had gotten a new phone. Uh, but anyways, just the versions weren't compatible. I thought for sure they were. So I was like, that can't be the issue, but it turns out they actually weren't. My watch was on uh, Android APS 3.1, Android APS 3.0 on the phone. So even if you're like positive that they're the same version, just double check. And then number two is um, like a, the one I showed earlier where you go and you try to make a treatment and just like 
nothing pops up. So it, any treatment that you make, any temp target that you set, it's always going to send a little notification on your watch just being like, confirm this. Hey, you're really doing this many carbs, this much insulin. You really want to set your temp target to this. Yeah, always, uh, if that's not working, uh, just go ahead and clear the app out of your recent apps and then just send the treatment again and it'll work 10 out of 10 times. And then the third problem that I had, uh, which is kind of close to number two, is that you have to have notifications for Android APS enabled. So my thing was is Android APS sends you a lot of notifications on your phone and it kind of felt like a duplicate uh, for like Xtrip that I was running anyways. So anyways, I, I had blocked Android APS notifications and if notifications are blocked on the phone, that means they're blocked on the watch. And since it sends those confirmations as a notification, if notifications are blocked, then you will not be able to give yourself treatments from the watch. So just make sure that they're enabled. Uh, you can really limit which ones show up on the watch. I pretty much have all of them disabled, but just make sure that notifications in general are enabled so that you can get those treatment requests, verifications pop up. So yeah, those were my quick thoughts, what it's like living with it day to day, how it really is awesome. Uh, and if you're having pr problems, just some tips and tricks on how to resolve those. Uh, if you have any questions, just comment those down below. I have tons of other videos about Android APS, diabetes in general. Uh, go check those out. Uh, if you have any ideas for future videos, comment those down below and we'll see you guys in the next one. Please remember to like and subscribe. I want to be a YouTuber if I didn't ask.